What up, guys and girls? It's B2. Welcome to the update for South America Day 11. So let's get right to it. Um, you'll notice that we have added France and Spain to there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened with DR Congo. He dropped out of the alliance, so I'm guessing he went inactive and the game booted him from the alliance. No worries. Um, Namibia took over and we had already added Kenya. We uh, then in turn added Spain, who actually came to us. And then he was already allied with France, who also came. So G to the G, G jizzle, because now that puts us in a clear advantage for provinces. With five members, we've doubled up on the Wolves, who are a very formidable alliance in Europe that France is fighting pretty much solo. Uh, obviously, golded a little bit. He's got some ships out here and some big old tanks and whatnot and what have you. And he's got them second tier already. So, uh, you know, he's pretty much holding the fight here, which is this is where that next... Um, alliance is, is in these areas, so he's already started to hammer on him a little bit. If you click on the state and you click the member, it's going to allow you to go to his info tab and it'll tell you that he's fighting Albania, Croatia, Finland, Belarus, Italy, and Germany all at the same time, which means that um, he's got some lands up here to take. So you really do have to exterminate everybody through here, right? So you got to look. I think if you pop this map open, uh, and where it is, like Belarus, Belarus, like Germany's last one. So, so that does matter, right? For for, um, and I can't see morale on here. But the more countries you fight, the harder morale is. And so it, that's one thing that you wanted to point out. Um, somebody had asked me a question on that. So if I go down to a smoking town, here's one, Lusaka. I just took this. It's 32% morale. But if I click on it, it tells me that I'm at war with two nations, which is a minus four. But neighboring morale is also a minus five. And distance to HQ, there's a lot of things that play in to give it a 9% chance. That means there's almost a 1 in 10 chance that at 6 p.m. Eastern time, it will go to a rogue state. So the higher that number is, the worse. But you can eliminate stuff like if i go in here and i build something that builds morale like a recruiting office it takes 30 minutes if i hit i it's going to tell me that it reduces mobilization time don't care because you really can't mobilize in towns that you don't you didn't own to start with unless you annex them which is incredibly expensive if i look here i don't want to pay this to annex right now um this early in the game it does not make sense to dedicate that many resources but what you can do is you can raise the arms factory right now it's not going to get you a true fuel output like if it was one of your starting towns but when you build an arms industry it will help you produce more materials but the recruiting office will raise morale and help the city grow the stronger the city is the more hit points the harder it is to take over you can defend it with fewer units there's a lot of pluses to that so i always recommend um you know um and i don't know let me um let me show you something so uh, so if you look at rankings, and uh, let me just flip through to make sure you are seeing that. Okay, and you are. Um, if you look look at this, the military scores are almost, see this guy is a well-rounded player. This guy, when you see him in a game, he's all military, so make sure you're ready to defend. This guy down here, well-rounded, like his total score is a makeup of the economic and military. So, uh, you know, you can really point out your foes and see kind of, do a little bit of a reconnaissance on there, Krang. I've actually played with him, uh, you know, two years ago. We were in the same alliance, and he's a really, really good player. And then I took two years off, and you can see I'm ranked 3,091st now. But we're going to work on that ranking, and I'm going to play a couple of games. So I actually tried to play another four-time speed game to see if I could generate some quick you know, ec economic ranks and boost, uh, got slaughtered. Here's where I'm at right now. Um, I joined the game at the end of day one, which is really day four. And they were already marching through this land that I was taking over. So I got pretty much steamrolled by two different countries. No worries though, um, because we are still going through this game. And I'll tell you for a day 11 update, um, I had rogues um, down here in Madagascar pop up because you know, that's B2's luck, right? I got a town that is not even smoking. So the it had to have been a single digit morale number um you know our percent chance to spawn a rogue and i spawned a rogue and it's a strong one so it's a nine nine versus a seven one so i'm gonna have a hard time with this attack um but i am almost over with this one what's what's his time here let's see he's got five minutes to the next attack which is good because this guy's almost dead and i can reroute him over to this town 
and hopefully make it back before this rogue takes it. I do not want to have to go through here because I built a building or am building a building and they're going to smash this thing. So uh, I just don't want that to happen uh, and it's my luck, right? So, uh, but we are finishing off here. I did take this town. Um, I didn't realize that uh, this town, Bulawayo, was actually owned by Congo. So when I went to war up here, boom, this guy popped red. I had to come back down here and take care of it. Um, and I think this guy's okay. 21-9 versus a uh, 3-2. Yeah, uh, that guy will take it over. And then what we'll do is we'll build, I'm building an airfield here uh, to be able to shuttle troops a little bit quicker to the front line, right? Um, then I took Loom, um, I'm sorry, started down here and I took Lusaka, uh, which was a, Nam a Namibia or a Zambia. Let's see if you highlight Zambia. So I took that back from Congo and then went to Lubumbashi and took that. And uh, we took um, Kananga here and we've pretty much wiped him out there. Um, you know, we're going to march the rest of the Congo here. He's only got like three more cities left and then we can push him out. Right. So um, that way we can connect up to Spain. We're going to march through this territory. Now he's kind of holding and France is actually coming down to help down here using some of his aircraft. Uh, really good to have that. And so Spain is going to move through, but Mali is, uh, I believe Mali is a, is a human player. It is. And six towns, 66. So Spain's going to have a little bit of hard time with Mali, but that's okay because we're going to come up, knock out Congo and connect Chad and then encircle all of this stuff. Uh, and then probably push east. There's another alliance that's over here that we really have to settle all these smaller fights over here before these guys get wind that we're all allied and coming for them, you know. Uh, but that'll be something on a different update for day 11. Uh, but so that's where we're at. I probably will film maybe tomorrow and give an update on here because I've had some requests. People love this conflict of nations series and they like watching this. So anyway, that's day 11. Hope you have enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Um, if you have questions, hit me up private messages. Hit me up in... Um, Hit me up in the comments, like anything that I can do to help you enjoy the game and anything that I'm not aware of that you can teach me. I'm not above taking some direction in comments uh, to learn the game better. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed the update. I'll see you.